There is nothing better than getting your greatest cigar and listening to David Swartz talk. Huge shout out to thinking crypto. I mean, when Tony does his interviews, when he, when he goes in, he really gets his shovel. You know what I mean? I love he gets all inside the crevices and everything. Take a listen to this. Oh, before we go in, yo, we're talking about federated um, side chains. Like, do you guys understand what that's, what that's going to do as far as bringing in more developers, bringing in more awareness, or bringing in more adoption? And not to mention having the functionality of the XRPL running underneath that. Oh, my goodness. Take a listen most tangible and then the long tail just like you can do whatever you want with it whatever uses might emerge in the future the other cool thing is let's say there's some feature that really should be on the xrp ledger main chain mm -hmm. i don't know what it is but let's say someone proposes some new feature they say i'm going to build this new feature that does you know some kind of anonymous transfer let's say i want to add you know sh shaded addresses or something it's very hard to get a feature added to a public blockchain if you try to get that added as a native feature to bitcoin or ethereum or, or any major blockchain you're going to be fighting for a very long time, and justifiably so, because security being like the most obvious problem. And you impose costs on everybody, and you increase their resource consumption of their service. You have to make a case that like the benefits outweigh the costs, and there's a heavy bias against doing anything, because everybody worries that you're going to compromise the stability of the system. With federated sidechains, you could come up with an- Do you ladies and gentlemen see the new use cases creeping in? I mean, Ripple, XRP, they already have their main, you know, their core use case and payments. But do you see how other use cases are sneaking in on the XRPL? Okay, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. You know what I mean? Like this, this guy, like when he's when he's here explaining, you know, XRP, he does it so clearly. But you can you can tell he's extremely, extremely intelligent. And it's just a beauty to know you're connected to someone like this who helped build. Oh, okay, let me stop. Now, can we please get into Tezos? Oh, Tezos. Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm not going to ignore you if you're going to put this stuff in my face. USDC to be issued on Tezos. Okay, come on out here. We have USDC coin will be issued on Tezos this coming month, like ASAP. Okay, Senate members announced plans to issue USDC on US, I'm sorry, on Tezos, the world's most advanced blockchain. Tezos reached over 2 million contract calls in June, driven by thriving DeFi and NFT ecosystem. But the, the NFTs on, on Tezos, it's, it's a little bit different than what you're thinking about with the art. You're talking, you're talking about a whole nother level. Take a look at this. Today, Center, a consortium supporting the stablecoin USDC founded Circle and Coinbase announced that Center members will issue USDC on Tezos in the coming months. The upcoming integration of Tezos with the USDC ecosystem brings together USDC the world's leading digital dollar stablecoin with Tezos, an energy efficient proof of stake blockchain with on-chain governance. Now, Tezos celebrates a three-year anniversary since mainnet launch uh, this month, making it one of the, the first and longest running proof of stake blockchains. Game developers, music labels, comic book creators, uh, sporting events, I'm sorry, sporting franchises, uh, central banks, and more are building on Tezos. And I told you guys a few uh, videos back about the McLaren um, integration. Uh, Tezos is home to the largest NFT, NFT marketplace, HIC, uh, I never heard of this, HIC, uh, et cetera, NUNC, and was recent, recently selected a uh, technical partnership with F1 teams, Red Bull Racing, Honda, and McLaren. There it is. Additionally, Tezos has a growing DeFi ecosystem with ERC-20 bridges for low-cost uh, cross-chain utility, yield farming protocols, and surging AMM platforms. But I also wanted to show you uh, this. They're getting into real estate. I mean, there's just so much going on. Like, what gives them the option to take this to the next level? Like, I remember when Tesla's first came out, and I was just, I was just blown away, blown away, blown away by it. And then that debacle happened, and they're just emerging from the ranks right now. It is amazing. Okay, come on over here real quick. I wanted to show you this before we go. Now, democratizing investments. Aquachain is set to launch UAE crowdfunding tokenization platform. The blockchain platform, the first of its kind in the GCC, aims to make investing in property a mass market product. You haven't seen it yet, but you're going to see it now. Okay. Dubai-based AquaTrade, a subsidiary of Smart Chain Information Technology Consultancy, is set to launch an end-to-end -end blockchain platform, open source blockchain network. That's us. Huh? For tokenization of the real estate market, AquaTrade, yeah, you thought, you thought we were going to miss this, huh? No. Not as blockchain monkey, because we... 
in here, okay? AquaChain will soon launch a listing of properties offered by investors and developers and tokenize them on Tezos. According to the company, the blockchain platform will enable smaller investors to own a share of properties and then benefit from the proportion of rental income while they own the share and capital gains should they choose to exit. Look what we can get into now. This was never able, to, we were never able to do this before. Look at what we are able to do right now. We can buy a piece and then grow that as the, as the value in it rises, we may choose to sell it, buy another property. They can't stop us right now. They can't stop us right now. Okay, here we have Wakwas, founder of CTO of Aquachain said, right now, real estate is considered to be an investment where the common man would invest once in a lifetime. But people who have enough liquidity, they have multiple options to invest. We are trying to take this mass market, uh, this uh, market to a mass product. Nawa, who is also founder of the CEO of Smart Ch this dude is a beast right here. Also founder and CEO of Smart Chain Information Technology Consultancy, told Zawa that he believes the new concept is a game changer and a problem solver. Well, wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you say? An individual can start investing with AED 100 and an upper limit is set to 50,000, he told Zawa. Okay, before I let you go, one more thing. What is this? Coming in hot from Cointelegraph, we don't have much time left to regulate crypto, says Bank of France governor. Like what? At a Paris Euro Place financial conference today, Verway said he believed the European Union only had one to two years left in which to establish a regulatory framework for cryptocurrencies. To not act, according to the central bank governor, would risk an erosion of our monetary sovereignty and potentially weaken the euro. Is you ready? Don't forget to like, go, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> and we will all see each other on the moon. Cause it's the standard in this bitch. XRP. I, I went to YouTube University. And now they mocking me. We know the degree. We say about a swift. Keep it walking. We're smoking elders in these bushes. Bitcoin is talking. Oh,